The dairy here is Pittsburgh's oldest business. It was formed in 1888. Uh, the site was listed on the National Register as an individual listing in 1996. So this building was, was carefully designed to speak to the architecture of uh, the late 19th century Italianate style of the main house in the former barn here that burned in 1970. And we strategically located the plant uh, really to conceal it from view and put the service elements on the back part of the site where they're largely hidden. The cues were taken from my parents' house, uh, which is uh, one of the finest Italianate houses in Pittsburgh. The broad overhanging eaves, the porch, ocular windows in the eaves, the cupola are all features uh, from that style. One of the most rewarding parts of this project was to put uh, you know, a, a centerpiece barn back on this property that had the same level of architectural interest of the old main cow barn. I think the response has been fantastic. Um, uh, my father has operated the dairy since 1960, and it's, it's a Pittsburgh institution, and there's always been a loyal base of, of Pittsburgh residents. Um, but everybody, I think, was just sort of blown away by the interior of the new facility, and the increased selection, especially the ice cream, has been a major hit this summer. Well, uh, we, we have a lot more to offer in the new building. We have a little nicer ambience, I guess you would say, of the building itself. It's, uh, we were kind of used to working in about a 600 square foot store, and now we have about a 2,400 square foot store where we uh, now have an ice cream parlor. We have our own bakery with John Claude uh, doing the baking for us. Uh, we also carry other local items like uh, Java Joe's Coffee, uh, Ravioli Shop right here in the city. We've had a very good turnout, not only from Pittsburgh, but some of the area towns close by. It seemed to almost be a destination for some of these people. They just kind of rave about uh, how nice it looks in here. They've been selling milk at the property here probably since 1888, which is a little bit before I started. The milk is all hormone-free. The freshness is a big part of what we sell. We're pretty well known in the area by most of the area chefs because we produce milk and cream that is really a touch above anybody else's. Well, I think uh, the, the service, service side of what we do here is just a little bit uh, better than uh, what you can find in any place locally in Monroe County. It's a family-run uh, business. I actually have three, three generations working here now. It's my son, uh, Charles, and then my grandson is uh, also CJ. So hopefully what we're doing here will go on for the next few generations after I might retire from the business. But it's been a pleasure to working with the local people. And it's, uh, when I go home at night, I always feel like I've uh, really accomplished something. So I'm really proud of what we have here.